Well, I'm Chris Pine. I play uh, a character named Will Coulson in Unstoppable, which is a movie about ordinary people stuck in really extraordinary circumstances and the choices that they make when they're faced with intense danger. There's an unmanned train on the northbound track. It's under power. It's coming straight at us. He comes into this day uh, estranged from his wife and estranged from his child, and clearly just a whole truckload of his own personal baggage. Is there a problem? No problem. I just don't like working at a damn daycare center. Yeah, well, I don't like working at a retirement home, so. All right. And in the process of the day, I think he has to get out of that, his self-obsession with all of his crap, uh, for lack of a better word, and uh, become selfless. Are you in or you out? You want to kill yourself, you do it alone. All right, right? you do what you want. Wait. The opportunity to work with Denzel Washington and Tony Scott, that for me was the linchpin. You're stepping into the ring with two heavyweight Hollywood champions, and you have to have done your work and be ready to, to play ball. Yeah. To find out that Denzel had recommended me for the role in this film was uh, tremendously flattering. Hey, don't get sentimental. The dynamic between Denzel's character and myself is uh, there's a tension that's palpable between the old heads, which they call the older vets, and then the Yellow Jackets, the newbies. There's something about these kind of young bucks coming in and from what we hear, trying to take over these, uh, these veterans' jobs, and then the veterans' anger about losing their jobs and, and that. Um, what I found interesting is that the dynamic in the film really mirrors the dynamic in real life in many ways, not that I'm trying to take Denzel's job in real life, but the sense that he's a veteran and I am the young guy. In training they just give you an F. Out here you get killed. I think for us it was a matter of taking that and just amplifying and exploiting it. It's called a derailer for Christ. Like that's what that they do. that size going that fast, it'll vaporize anything that gets in its way. They wouldn't use it if they didn't. They're wrong, all right? They're wrong. Terry and Jess, who are the two guys whose story this film was based uh, upon, they would talk about, you know, there is a hierarchy, and you have to respect your elders. Even if you've done the training, they've been on the tracks for 30 years. There are things that they know that you just can't know from because you don't know. It's like acting, again. They've done it for too long. You can't argue with it. And so that was a big thing, to show respect to your elders. And they, they talked about it. If you didn't, you would, you would be put through the gauntlet. If you showed any form of disrespect, you know, that would get around. You'd be known as that guy. And God help you, because you would have all the old heads on your ass. This is Will Coulson, your conductor. We're going to run this thing down. In this, clearly, we were doing something that involved uh, uh, there was a technical aspect to this film that we had to we had to immerse ourselves in. We shot practically, meaning we were on trains, uh, on the tracks, in yards all the time for three months, and then going to the train yards, obviously, and talking to people whose lives are spent nine to five working with trains. That was obviously very important as well. One sixty. You exploit the dynamic from real life and kind of transplant it to the day, and then you kind of play with that dynamic during the day and, and hopefully you have a group of collaborative people around you that, you know, you want to make it alive, essentially. That's the most important thing because that's what film captures.